Before school started and he took me to a very nice Italian restaurant and the whole day he was just completely giddy um, <laughs> he was just laughing and rambunctious and we walked there we didn't drive so that was really nice and we both kind of just dressed up without really telling each other we were gonna dress up and um, he had one of his favorite dinners at the restaurant it was Alfredo and he eats that stuff all the time and he think he had three bites and he said okay I'm full <laughs> and I thought he was sick or something he just could not sit still and so we were gonna go see a movie as well and um, he you know it was getting late so we just decided not to go to the movie and we walked around a little more and we got to this park and the sun was setting and you could see the older buildings of Birmingham and um, the fountains were going and the lights were coming out. It's very romantic. And my birthday was about a week and a half away. And he said, you know, I have, um, I have your birthday present in my pocket. And for a really long time, he kept asking me, you know, if I get a ring, will you tell me if I, you know, you don't like it? Um, so I just told him, oh, well, I want, you know, I want you to give me my birthday present on my birthday and he goes well I want to give it to you now so I go okay and he stands up and he shuffles around in his pockets and before I know it he's out of one knee and he pulls out this gorgeous ring and um, he says you know Elizabeth Slinsky will you marry me and I don't even remember him putting the ring on my finger I was in such a state of shock but I just kept saying you know oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and I gave him a big kiss oh, no, so I'm glad it fit <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, he told me, he put the ring, of course, I said yes after saying oh my gosh for probably about five minutes. I was, I was giddy when it first went to happen. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know how it was going to go. It was just one of the biggest moments of my life and, <laughs> and I, was, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't do nothing. Like I just, I bought the ring that week and I, I couldn't, 
I didn't know what to do with it. It was burning a hole in my pocket. I just had to get rid of it. Like, I have to give it to her, you know? And so that night, I was like, hey, let's let's go to this really nice restaurant you've been telling me about. Well, she's like, are you serious? Like, you're not she's really spontaneous. She's really frugal, and yeah. it was kind of a pricey restaurant. So I said, we can go to Coney Island, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, let's go, my treat. And so we went, and, and, it, and it went really well. It, it, you know, we had a really nice dinner. I, I could I could barely eat, though. I couldn't even enjoy the restaurant. I was just so excited. And, and we were supposed to go see a movie, and I was like, well, it's getting late. Let's go to the park. Let's go for a walk. And so I said, okay, okay. And so we went to the park, and I proposed in the park, and, and it was right, right in front of this fountain. The fountains were going off and everything. It was really romantic. It was really beautiful. So she said, yes, that's all I care about. Just forget the world.